Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sergeant Major of the Army Awards Forum and the start of 2022 AUSA Annual Meeting. I'm Dan Daly, Sergeant Major of the Army Retired. And as a reminder, please silence and turn off your cell phones so as not to um, break up the, the festivities this morning. And for all the soldiers and non-commissioned officers here in attendance, use this opportunity over the next several days to learn more about your Army, gain new ideas from our senior Army leaders, and learn more about our doctrine and training programs. While these next several days are fun-filled events, there are professional development and learning events as well. We have a number of distinguished guests with us today. In the room today is the 12th Sergeant Major of the Army, SMA retired Jack Tilly. Do I, I got a cue again? <laughs> the 12th Sergeant Major of the Army, SMA Jack Tilly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed to have with us the 13th Sergeant Major of the Army. Sergeant Major of the Army retired Ken Preston. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we're also blessed to have us with us today, the 14th Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major of the Army, retired Ray Chandler. <laughs> this week we will have several of our uh, international Sergeant Majors of the Army with us this week and we wish them a warm welcome. Before we begin this morning, I'd like to invite General Robert Brown, President and CEO of the Association of the United States Army, to provide a welcome and a few comments. Let's give General Brown a big round of applause. Well, if that doesn't get you motivated to sit next to the former sergeant majors of the Army, we had an idea. We're going to form a squad, an old guy squad. All right? There's some, you know, can't run anymore certain things, although some of these guys can. I, I can't. But, uh, hey, it's great to be here. I just want to congratulate the awardees. Some of the, all these awards are so special. Uh, it's really unbelievable. And for me, several are really personal. Sergeant Major uh, Larry Strickland, uh, I served with him in the Pentagon. Our lockers were right next to each other in the, in the POAC, and I left shortly uh, before 911, and tragically, uh, he was killed there in the Pentagon. An amazing human being, amazing person, amazing leader. So to, to see an award named after Sergeant Major Strickland, is, it just uh, fills my heart with pride that his legacy lives on. Uh, and then the Troy Welsh Award. Troy's one of our superstars at AUSA, and so how proud we are of him at uh, the award named after him, he does. We actually require him to do a little bit more now. He's got a award named after him. He'll push him a little bit. But uh, take advantage of being here. There's tremendous educational forums, really the best I've seen this year, on all kinds of relevant subjects uh, dealing with the Army, people writing this modernization, Ukraine, what's happening in Ukraine, et cetera. So please take advantage of that. But I really, the biggest thing I wanted to do was thank you all because we all know, we've known for a long time, uh, all this, uh, that, that what makes us the best army in the world, what makes us a great army is our non-commissioned officers. Unlike anywhere, anyone, unbelievable. I learned it, my first platoon sergeant, uh, Dwight Anderson, who came with a Vietnam veteran and taught me just unbelievable and have seen it ever since, the amazing service of our non-commissioned officers. And you have the tough jobs. You know, the, the officers are thinking all oh, these grandiose do this and you're out there working and doing the tough jobs, no doubt about it. And what's kind of special now is the whole world is seeing it as they watch this terrible tragedy in, in uh, Ukraine, what Russia is doing. But they all are like, well, this is unbelievable. How, how is Russia, you know, they're doing so poorly. And, and the answer, we all knew it, but they don't have non-commissioned officers. They don't have, they can't empower non-commissioned officers and look at the difference. Uh, and uh, so I'm just so proud of all of you. And I'm going to tell you, uh, we want to start the old guy squad because you look really sharp in that new uniform, too. It just looks unbelievable and uh, makes me want to reenlist for another 38. All right. So, hey, enjoy the conference. Congratulations to the awardees. Uh, really special. And thank you, our non commissioned officers, what makes us the greatest army in the world. No doubt about it. Ooh. Thank you, General Brown. 
I like the old squad concept, General Brown. And the good thing is, is Jack Tilly won't have to buy one of the uniforms. He could just break out his original World War II uniform <laughs> that he served in when he was the SMA. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a great week. So let's get started. Today, we have a number of awards we want to present to recognize our non-commissioned officers of excellence. We will begin with announcing the winners of the FY 2022 Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Education Leadership Award. Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Education Leadership Award is given in honor of the memory of Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland, the Deputy Chief of Staff G1 Sergeant Major who was killed in the September 11th terrorist attack on the Pentagon. Sergeant Major Strickland was an outstanding non-commissioned officer and friend who cared deeply about soldiers and their professionalism and their development. He believed if you educate the NCO, you educate the soldier they lead. Honoring Sergeant Major Strickland today gives us the opportunity to honor all those who have given their life in the service of our nation. Sergeant Major Strickland Education Leadership Award is awarded annually to a senior and mid-grade non-commissioned officer who exemplify the Army's vision of lifelong learning and motivates others to continue their professional development to shape our future leaders. A non-commissioned officer like Sergeant Major Strickland, who identifies, trains, and develops coaches and mentors tomorrow's leaders. A non-commissioned officer who is a steward of the Army and our nation's most precious resource, the American soldier. I'd like to ask the following distinguished guests to please join me on stage. Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinson. Sergeant Major retired Tom Gills, who serves as the president of the Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Memorial Fund. And Miss Pam Swan, vice president of military relations and business development for Veterans United Home Loans. Morning, SMA. <clears throat> and now, the 2022 Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Education Leadership Award Senior Non-Commissioned Officer recipient is First Sergeant Robert Castaneda, 978th Military Police Company, 93rd Military Police Battalion, 1st Armored Division, United States Army Forces Command. <laughs> SMA Grinston will present our 2022 Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Honoree with a Bronze Eagle. Sergeant Major Gills, the president of the Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Memorial Fund Committee, will present a check for $4,000. Ms. Pam Swan from Veterans United will present our honoree with a laptop computer on behalf of Veterans United Home Loans. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause. The 2022 Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Educational Leadership Award mid-grade non-commissioned officer recipient is Sergeant First Class Laurentino Benitez. SMA Grinston will present our 2022 mid-grade non-commissioned officer honoree with a bronze eagle. <laughs> Sergeant Major Gills, the president of the Sergeant Major Larry L. Strickland Memorial Fund Committee, will present a check for $4,000. Ms. Pam Swan from Veterans United will present our honoree with a laptop computer on behalf of Veterans United Home Loans. In addition to the bronze eagles received here, there's also a large bronze eagle on display at the United States Army Sergeant's Major Academy at Fort Bliss, Texas. All the eagles are from your association of the United States Army. The name of each Strickland Award recipient has been added to the permanently displayed bronze eagle at the United States Army Sergeant Majors Academy. Please join me in one more round of applause.
And now I have the honor of announcing the 2022 Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick Memorial AUSA Scholarship Award. The Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick Memorial AUSA Scholarship Award is given in honor of the memory of Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick. Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick began her public affairs career in 1979. Sergeant Major Kilpatrick's most challenging assignments included serving as the newspaper editor of three of the Army's most prestigious newspapers, the Hawaii Army Weekly at Fort Shafter, Hawaii, the Bayonet at Fort Benning, Georgia, and the Paraglide at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Then, as a special assistant to the Secretary of the Army, Sergeant Major Kilpatrick served as the personal public affairs officer for the Secretary. She was the first non-commissioned officer ever to serve in that role. Sergeant Major Kilpatrick was a master parachutist with more than 650 jumps. She spent two years as a member of the prestigious Golden Knights, the United States Army's parachutes demonstration team. In 1999, the United States Army and the Association of the United States Army formed a partnership to honor Sergeant Major Dawn Kilpatrick and her selfless service to our Army and our nation. The Office of the Chief of Public Affairs established a scholarship in her name titled the Sergeant Major Dawn Kilpatrick Memorial Association of the United States Army Scholarship Award. I would ask the following distinguished guests to please join me on the stage. With us still is Sergeant Major of the Army, oh, he is not. Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinson. <laughs> Sergeant Major Stephanie L. Cleveland from the Office of the Chief of Public Affairs and the Army Public Affairs Sergeant Major, and again, Ms. Pam Swan, President of Military Relations and Business Development for Veterans United Home Loans. And now, the 2022 recipient of the Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick Scholarship is Sergeant First Class Adrian Potoka, Security Force Assistance Command, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. <clears throat> SMA Grinston will present our 2022 Sergeant Major Don Kilpatrick honoree with a bronze eagle. Sergeant Major Cleveland will present our award recipient a check for $4,000. Ms. Pam Swan from Veterans United will present a laptop computer to our award recipient on behalf of Veterans United Home Loans. Each year, recipient's name will be permanently displayed in place and honor in the Office of the Chief of Public Affairs in the Pentagon. Ladies and gentlemen, Join me in a round of applause. <laughs> the Army's commitment to improving overall nutrition, or action, is an initiative that enables the enterprise as a collective effort to enhance readiness through nutrition. The lethality of our soldiers depends on their physical and cognitive performance in which nutrition is the most critical component of a conditioned warfighter. To promote excellence in nutrition, the Army created the Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh Action Award as a way to award this excellence. Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh entered active duty in June of 1977. He enlisted as a food service specialist. Welsh served in every leadership position from first cook, shift leader, platoon sergeant, first sergeant, and command sergeant major. Sergeant Major Welsh was also the first soldier to serve as the Army G-4 Sergeant Major and the final food service specialist to serve at the major command level. Culminating his career, the command sergeant major, United Nations Command, Combined Forces Command, United States Forces Korea, and 8th Army. After 30 years of service, command sergeant major Welsh retired in July of 2007. In his honor each year, the Headquarters Department of the Army Deputy Chief of Staff of the Army G4 will recognize the top three warrior restaurants that has the highest cumulative points on the action scorecard from the Vantage. The action scorecard assesses standards and progress for Go for Green, Army Modernization, Military Nutrition Assessment Tool, Customer Feedback, Feeding Options, Basic Daily Food Allowance Management, Peak Head Count, and Substance in Kind Utilization. The winners will be awarded the Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh Action Award plaque. I would ask the following distinguished guests to please join me on stage. The Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston. Sergeant Major Jimmy Sellers from the Office of the Deputy Chief of Staff, G4, and Command Sergeant Major Retired, here present today, Troy Welsh. 
The 2022 winners of the Comanche Army Retired Troy Welsh Action Award are third place, Yusa Sock, represented today by Sergeant First Class Joshua Babcock from 3rd Special Forces Group, and Sergeant First Class Jesse Pepis, represented today by 7th Special Forces Group. All right, let's give him one more round of applause. Second place from Forces Command, Sergeant First Class Charles Hemphill, 10th Mountain Division, 1st Brigade, 10th Brigade Support Battalion, and Specialist Sophie Ortiz, 82nd Airborne Division, 2nd Brigade, 407th Support Battalion, Company E. Let's give him another round of applause, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now first place. From USERA, Sergeant First Class, oh, correction, Staff Sergeant Simone Jackson, 221st Quartermaster Company, 18th CSSB, 16th Support Brigade. Also, Sergeant Christian Souza, 55th Quartermaster Company, 16th STB, 16th Support Brigade. Let's give all the recipients of the Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh Action Award one more big round of applause. <laughs> Excellent Performance in Commodities, or EPIC, is an initiative to drive change at the point of need and to sustain a high state of logistical readiness across our Army. EPIC supports the CSA's Logistics Excellence Awards Program by synchronizing logistics commodity stakeholders and their ability to evaluate progress in the areas of logistical readiness, levels required to sustain at an echelon from the joint strategic to the tactical support areas. To recognize excellence in logistics, they created the Command Sergeant Major Retired James K. Sims Epic Award. Command Sergeant Major Sims had a prominent presence in the stamp community, serving 33 years in the Quartermaster Corps of the United States Army. Sims served in a variety of leadership roles, ranging from squad leader to Command Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Major Sims was recognized as an engaged leader at all levels, both through the military and industry. Sergeant Major Sims culminated his career as the Command Sergeant Major of the Army Material Command at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. In the honor of Sergeant Major Sims, each year, the Headquarters Department of the Army Deputy Chief of Staff of the Army G4 will recognize the top commands, winner and runner-up, that have the highest cumulative points on the EPIC scorecard. The EPIC scorecard assesses standards and progress for the following logistic categories. Command Supply Dis Discipline Program, Command Maintenance Discipline Program, Command Deployment Discipline Program, Evaluations, Central Issue Facility Reform, Item Unique Identification, Equipment Maintenance, Status Report, Status of Resources and Training Systems, and lastly, Modified Work Orders. I would ask the following distinguished guests to please join me on stage. Again, the Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston, accompanied by Sergeant Major Jimmy Sellers from the Office of the Deputy Chief Four, and Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh, Director of the Non-Commissioned Officer and Soldier Programs at AUSA. The 2022 winners of the Command Sergeant Major Retired James K. Sims Epic Award are second place, Sergeant Major Alejandro Aramendi, sorry about that, Forcecom HHC 1229, Attack Battalion 16 CAB 7th ID, and Sergeant Jonathan Atkins from Forces Command HHC 3rd Cap. 
second place. Sorry, am I assuming that act is is that second place? Let's give him a big round of applause. And our first place winners, USARAF, represented today by Mass Sergeant Khalid Bussell, G4 USARAF, and Mass Sergeant Kevin Dukenwicks, G4 of USARAF. Let's give all of our recipients at the Command Sergeant Major retired James K. Sims Epic Award a big round of applause. Our final award presentation this morning will recognize the AUSA NCO and Soldier Programs Chapter Plus Challenge winner for 2022. In 2020, the Non-Commissioned Officer and Pro Soldier Programs Directorate created the Honorary Don Thomas NCO and Soldier Ribbon along with the NCO and Soldier Plus Challenge to encourage and recognize engagement with their local non-commissioned officer and soldier population in honor of the service of Don Thomas during his many years in the office of the NCO and Soldier Programs at AUSA. Each year, the chapter that excels beyond their peers in NCO and Soldier Engagement is awarded the title of the Don Thomas NCO and Soldier Programs Best Chapter. I would ask the following distinguished guests to please join me on stage. Command Sergeant Major Retired Troy Welsh, Director of NCO and Soldier Programs. Along with the sponsors of the program, Command Sergeant Major Retired Ed Sizer and Sergeant Major U.S. Army Marine Corps Retired Chino Leva from Geico Insurance. And they may not be here today. That's okay. The AUSA NCO and Soldier Programs Best Chapter for 2022 is the George Washington Chapter. Could you please join us on stage? Along with a ribbon and streamer for their colors, they will be awarded a monetary check for $1,000 to be used in non-commissioned officer programs in calendar year 2023. There's nothing like a big check. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the chapter who demonstrated the most for our NCOs and soldiers for 2022 a big round of applause. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize our sponsors, many of who are in the room today. We simply could not do what we do at the Association of the United States Army without our dedicated and passionate sponsors. Let's give our sponsors a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I have a few notes, and then I'm going to turn the floor over to our Sergeant Major of the Army. Our next event in the opening ceremony is in the main ballroom located on the third floor. Make sure you make your way up here shortly after this event because will, seating will be limited and it will start on time. 1300 today is the SMA's NCO and Soldier of the Year Best Squad Awards Forum at 1300 in room 146 A, B, and C, right around the corner from this facility here. Tomorrow morning at 0930 is the SMA's Professional Development Forum in 152 A and B. And at 1230 tomorrow, the CSA will give remarks and recognize the Drill Sergeants of the Year, the Recruiters of the Year, the retention NCOs of the year during the Eisenhower presentation in the main ballroom on the third floor. And on Wednesday at 1200 hours, one you won't want to miss, is the SMA will give his annual initiatives brief in room 152 A and B. And of course, don't forget to spend some time on the showroom floor and visit with all of our vendors throughout the week. Thanks for joining us this morning. And at this time, I'll turn the last remarks over to the 16th Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major of the Army, Michael Grinston.
Well, it's good to be back, isn't it? I'm having a moment. It's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Something. I don't know, a grunt. Or, uh, it's, early, it's early. And you did a PT, so it shouldn't be that early, right? TJ, did you do PT? Yeah, grr. Okay. Uh, I appreciate everybody being here. I, I actually want to just make a couple comments because I know it's going to take you like an hour to get up to the opening ceremony, and don't be late. It will start on time, and every time you move across here, it does take a little extra time because you'll walk about five steps and go, oh, I haven't seen that person in 10 years. So uh, to include somebody down here. So I think uh, I was his brigade sergeant major when he was a young, much younger sergeant there. Um, so that happens at all levels. You're going to see people that you didn't see. Um, so I'll give you plenty of time to get to the opening ceremony. But it is really good to be back. We just haven't done it in this form, in this fashion. We did a little bit last year, and then we're in, but now we're, we're back to full capacity. And it really is good to be back, to see people. You know, people are humans. we got to interact with people. So this is really good just to be here. I do want to recognize a couple of folks that we didn't get. Rec uh, I know they said international uh, sergeant, sergeant's major of your army. Uh, but if you're in the room and you're the sergeant major of your army, could you please stand up? I think I saw Paul, Jim, is my teammate, somebody else here. I think uh, Japan. Somebody. That's it. Let's give them a round of applause. Right there. <laughs> and uh, Jim, not to heckle you, but I, I saw Paul at the Army 10 Miler yesterday. He was way behind me by like hours or something like that. That's not true. So uh, good running teammate and good to see everybody out. I think 20,000 yesterday, but uh, thanks for coming here. And we didn't obviously recognize the 15th Sergeant Major of the Army because uh, he didn't want to introduce himself. But Dan Daly, where are you at? Did you leave me? There you go. Let's give him a round of applause too, by the way. You know, all these events started last week, and, you know, everybody's waiting for the luncheon. <laughs> it's like, and they're all in the back. And I'm going to introduce you one more time, uh, see if I get it right. Honey Badgers Army National Army Reserve. Let's go. Where are you at? Come on, stand up. Okay, we're going to find out who's the winner. you got, like, three or four more hours to go, okay? Uh, go ahead and sit down. Let's give them a round of applause. Honey Badgers. The men and men, Army National Guard. Now, technically, you know, I did at some point pass you all on the run. You know, they, you got really, you know, like, Sergeant Major, that's not funny. But I think at the end, you gutted it out and beat me. So it was close. It was touch and go there. Okay. Uh, Force Com, see, Mohawk team, where you at? Awesome. And then last but not least, Team Usasak. Yeah. And I'd like to see, uh, I said I passed their squad too. They're like, Sergeant Major, no, you didn't. I was like, yeah, I did. No, they're like, no, you didn't. Um, the reason I want to introduce them and I want to talk about the Action Award, this is kind of a year of firsts. Uh, we haven't recognized our food service uh, individuals in this capacity since I've been the Sergeant Major of the Army. And I really want to thank Jimmy Sellers for putting this together and having uh, these great soldiers come up here and do this. I mean, there's two things that we all know motivates uh, young soldiers. <laughs> Number one is, where am I going to stay and where do I sleep? It's like, hey, i got to get barracks. And then, the you know, food. And I guess, I guess three, I guess we got to pay you at some point. But when you look at the food and what these uh, young soldiers have done, and I really appreciate that, and thanks, Sergeant Major Sellers, for putting this together. So uh, thank you for doing that and bringing these soldiers together. And then that's the first of this year and the first time we're going to announce the best squad, the first time in the Army. But don't forget, we still are going to announce an NCO of the year and a soldier of the year. We might have missed that part. But that's still going to happen at lunch. There's still going to be an NCO of the year and a soldier of the year, and then we will announce the best squad. So this is a great way to start off. We've got all these awards, and I really appreciate putting this together. And then you're going to sit in the opening ceremony, so I won't 
delay the inevitable of going up the opening ceremony. I just want to tell you how proud I am to be here with you today. And I thank all the former SAR majors of the Army being here with me. And I look forward to the opening comments. And I look forward to a great three days. We've got a great program, a lot of awards to give out, and a lot of uh, announcements for what we're going to do with the Army. So I look forward to listening to your comments and uh, or listening to your questions on Wednesday. So thank you. Have a great Army day. Army strong. <laughs>